Kiwi Chowdown is a game for two to four players from Draco Studios and Detestable Games. And what you're doing in this game is you are taking on a faction of Kiwi birds and a leader. So one of the leaders is going to be this cool little mini guy right here. And what you're trying to do is you are trying to move your Kiwi around on this map, feed them so they get bigger, so that you can assert your dominance over certain types of tiles better than your opponent. So this game is all about mean kiwi birds that want to go around and be mean to other kiwi birds so they can be the king or queen of certain terrain types and that's it there's a little bit more to it but not a whole lot it's a fairly lightweight game but with some cool interesting card play so that's enough talking let's go on the table check it out all right so here's a game of kiwi chowdown all set up almost for two players to set up, you're going to lay out the board in the configuration in the rule book for two, three, four players, whatever you want to do, or just flip it out. Then you're going to pick eight tiles and put out your kiwis. I think 12 of them or something. Yeah, 12 of them out across those eight tiles. I use the starting setup in the rule book, kind of. I took a little bit of liberties to change it around, but I mostly did what the rule book told me to do. Then you're gonna give each player a player board, which is gonna look like this. They're each gonna get a leader. So in this case, we have Scully, represented by this mini right here. They have Chopin, which is represented by this mini, I believe. I'm not 100% sure if that's the right mini, but that's who I'm using. Um, each, on each player's player board, they're gonna have some nests, some additional Kiwis, and each player is gonna get a deck of cards and they're gonna draw three. They're also gonna be passed out a beginning nest, which we have here. That's basically gonna give you some starting resources. So this player is first. So the last thing we have to do is give each other, everybody some starting resources. So this player is going to get two domains. Domains are basically how you're gonna score points. So they have this one and this one that represents red and yellow or pink and yellow. These will be face down, but I'm just gonna show you so you can you know, kind of see what's going on. And this player will get two as well. They will get the same. And then this player is going to get five food and that player is going to get six food. So, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so then we're done with that. So here's the, re the food, there's their food, and now we get started. All right, so the game's pretty straightforward. Each round you're gonna follow these four phases. In the first round, this first phase, which I forget what the name of it is, because I'm really bad about remembering that kind of stuff. Uh, the first season change, season change phase, we're not gonna be doing that in the first phase. So what we do in that one is just flip over these tiles. So we did something. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to this one. This is the action phase. So you're gonna be playing some cards. So on your turn, you're gonna look at, you're gonna have a hand of three cards. The playing the cards is how you're gonna be taking actions. So the actions you can take, Let's just go over those real quickly. You can, oh, I have four cards, whoops, can't count. You can, first thing we're gonna do is you can move your people around on the map. This is effectively an area control game. You're trying to have dominance in the tiles of the colors that you have here, so you can score a point at the end of the round. Dominance means you have more Kiwi presence than the opponent. A stack of two is effectively one presence, it's just a stronger Kiwi. So it does, has nothing to do with the majority. So this will be two to one. So that's kind of that. So you want to move around so you can get more of your Kiwis in a tile than your opponent or opponents to assert your dominance. Next thing you can do is you can feed your Kiwi. That's an easy way to make the Kiwi fatter. So I could take this one, add it to that. Now I have a three power Kiwi. Or I could add feed an opponent's Kiwi if they have a three and they would explode because you can never be more than a size three. You can build a nest. To build a nest, that's these little areas down here. You pay two of the same food, three of the same food, put the nest out on the board in a place that you have control. So right now, purple could build here, red could build here, and that's it. And red could build there, purple could build there because they have the majority. When you build a nest, you have to build the top one before you can build the bottom one. But once I build this top one, I can then build that one. I don't have to build all of these before I can build that. They're each going to give you an instant resource when you build it, or an instant action when you build it, which is down there, and some income that you're going to get during the season change phase, which is also marked on your board. So that's that. Last thing you can do 
is you can move, feed, um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Move, feed, build, and that's it. But there's also a wild card, which you could play to take any of the other actions or to get the bonus on that side of the card. So three main actions plus a wild card action that you can do on your turn. And also at the end of this round, we're gonna see who has the fewest Kiwis on the green tile, which is the grass. And they're gonna get this bonus. If there's a tie, everyone gets this. If there's not a tie, first player gets this, second player gets that. And that's effectively that. So first thing purple's gonna do, because they have the first player marker, they're gonna play a card. So they have two feeding cards, which is this action. And they have a wild, which is gonna let them take any other action they want or get four food randomly. Let's just go ahead and feed, we'll do it. So we're gonna feed. So if you look at your player board here, when you take the feeding action, you have to spend two different food. So I'll do that. So I'll spend a blue, I think, or green and a red. I'm not good with the colors. They go back in the bag. And then I have an option. I can either feed my own kiwi or I can feed an opponent's kiwi. It doesn't do me any good to feed an opponent because I'm not gonna blow up anything. So I'm gonna feed my, feed my own. When you feed a kiwi, you're always gonna take them off this board from left to right if you can, because as you place kiwis on your board or make your kiwis bigger, you're gonna unlock some free bonuses. So I'm gonna take a kiwi, I'm just gonna throw it, let's go right there. So I'll throw it on that one. And that's my turn. And then when you feed your own kiwi, you get to take a dominance token. So now I'm gonna to try to get another terrain that I can get some area control on. So now I have green. All right, so I have yellow, pink, and green. All right, and that's my turn. Then this player, same thing. So they have feed, move, and a wild that lets them do those three actions. So they're gonna go ahead and move. So you can see that action. Oh, and when you play a card, you have to draw back up another card. So you always have three in your hand. All right, so they're gonna move. So when you move, you have a couple options. You can move two Kiwis out here. This one counts as a stack of three. It can never be fed but this is a, a size three Kiwi for moving purposes. You can move two of these or just move this one regular, or you can use your special card as one of the movements and give your use your big guy in the special ability realm. So let's go ahead and do some actions. So let's see. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, and when you move a Kiwi that's bigger than the Kiwi, another Kiwi, you can bump up to two of the Kiwis that are smaller than it to another tile. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I will go one here and I'll go ahead and boot one over there. No, actually I'll send this one over here. I'll keep that one there, I'll bump this one over there. So I moved one and then I moved two additional Kiwis. You can move your opponents or your own, so I did that. Then for my second movement, I'm gonna use my special ability. So I'm gonna move Chopin. You can move them up to four hexes in a straight line, push all Kiwi tokens on all hexes that you move through except the starting one and the finish one. When you move it, you'll do that so you know you did the action. So let's go ahead and do it. Is that smart? Sure, let's try it. So we'll go one. So I have to move all of these. So I will move this one here, this one here, because I need to get him on green. I'll move these two over here. Then I'll go here. Oof. I'll move that one here, 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 and here. And then this guy will come over here. So now I did all my movements. So that's, I cleared out some spaces, spread out the board a little bit to make it trickier for people to get some domination. And that is their turn. So now it's back to purple. I drew a wild card, so I now have two wild cards. And I wanna actually build a nest because I wanna show you how that works, so let's build. So I'm gonna play this one to take the build action right there, draw another card. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build one of these top ones. And I want to build this one, I think. Uh, let's build this one. So I'm gonna build this one. It's two, two of the same food, so I'll bend these two blues. I'm gonna build this one. Then when I build it, I get to bring out another Kiwi onto the board and a place where I have a Kiwi already. And this has to go on an area where I have the majority. So I'll go ahead and throw it right here, actually. 
and then I get to place a Kiwi out. So I take from the left and let's just go ahead and throw it. And let's go right there. Yep, all right, and that's my turn. So I did all that, got my bonus, done. Back to this player. They are going to play. They're gonna feed a Kiwi. They wanna make a bigger Kiwi. Draw a card. All right, so they're gonna feed. They're gonna go ahead and feed this one. And then when they feed your own, you get a dominance token. And I put the food in the wrong bag. Good job from earlier. So there's one, let me sort that out. Two, all right. Blue bag is for dominance. Pink bag is for food and I put it in the wrong bag. Good job. All right, so that was their turn. They fed it kiwi and then they're done. Back to purple. I'm going to play this card just to get the bonus and I want to get four food because I only have one food and food is pretty important so I need to get me some food. So I get into the pink bag, I draw four food. One, two, three, four. All right, so now I have some food. Two pinks, two greens, and a yellow. And that's the end of their turn. Draw another card. All right, then back to this player. They have a lot of food. So they're gonna go ahead and build a nest. So they're gonna build and draw a card and they are going to build this one so that costs two, two food of the same so they'll build these two or use these two yellow food and then they're going to get to move a kiwi and they're going to move this one right to nope they'll move this one here and they're going to boot this one to there and this one to there all right, and then they get to put this on an area where they have control and it's going to add two additional Kiwi to wherever they put this. So they're gonna go ahead and put it right there. So now that, even if their Kiwis are out, they'll still have two Kiwi there. And that's the end of the round. So you play all your, well, that's the end of the action phase. Then after that, you're gonna move on to scoring the season. So we're gonna look at the green tiles and we're gonna see who has the fewest Kiwi on green. So you look at me, I have one, two, three, four, five, and pink has one, two, so they have the fewest. So they're gonna get two dominance tokens on the blue bag. So they have a purple and a yellow. So let's just stack them up. Again, these would all be face down so no one knows what you're doing. And uh, the other player, which is purple, will get to grow a kiwi. So they're gonna actually go ahead and make this one a little bit bigger right there and then um so they grew kiwi and then because they unlocked that space they get a food so they're gonna get a food and done all right so that card's done then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do dominance now rounds one two and three you can do one dominance token in turn order rounds four any of the dominance tokens you have left you can put out as many as you want Basically, you're only going to score points for this nest for getting it out and these down and these tokens right here And there's one of these cards. that's going to give you a point outside of that No points. You want to get as many of these on the board as you can So starting with purple uh, They're going to claim some dominance on a green. They'll go ahead and put one right here Now what you have to do is you have to take a kiwi if you have any in the reserve Which means they've been booted off the board and you flip it face down and put it on there If you don't have any then you're gonna to have to take one off of an area which I'll just take one off this green one Put it on there, it's no longer a Kiwi, it just says that you have control of that and it's a point for you at the end. This player will do the same thing. They're gonna score a pink. They're gonna do this pink one right here. And they'll go ahead and burn one of these. Put it right there. All right, and that's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the round again. So this player will be first player. You get rid of all these cards, you'll discard them. So discard. Oh, I messed up the board. Um, you will untap or turn your 
your leader if you use them. Then you're gonna get resources or bonuses for any nest that you've cleared off. So right here, I'll get to place a new Kiwi. So I'll throw him right there and I get a dominance token. And then they're gonna to get to do the same thing. They will put one right there, but they don't get any bonuses. So this player gets a dominance. All right. And then um, we'll just keep playing. So we're gonna do the same thing through round number two. At the end of round two, whoever has the most size two, size three Kiwis gets the bonus here. That's a free build and that's whoever else gets two food. Whoever has the most buildings at the end of round three will get a, a point, so they'll keep the card. Everyone else will get a Dominus token. At the end of round four, whoever has the most Kiwis on pink will get a Dominus token. Everyone else will get a food. If there's a tie, it always goes to the second. Everyone gets the second bonus. And then at the end of round four, everyone who has Dominus tokens can place them out. Then you're going to score up Dominus tokens, a point for any of that, or a point for this nest that you have out on the board, and then a point for this card if you have it. And then whoever has the most points is the winner. That's how you play Kiwi Chowdown. Let's go up top, see what you think about it. All right, well, that was Kiwi Chowdown. So yeah, this is a, a, an interesting little game. It's a, effectively an action selection game. So it's an action selection area control game. And I say action selection because you're using these cards with really adorable art, by the way, while we're on that. You're using these cards to pick the action that you wanna take. So you have a hand of three cards, you're picking one of those three actions as the action you wanna take on that turn. Each, each round you're going to get three action turns so over the course of the game you're getting 12 turns you're trying to make the best of it and get your kiwis in the position that you need them to be in so that you can assert your dominance and score a point you're not going to get a pile of points in this game it a pretty low scoring game you can get two for sure if you build this nest so this little nest that has the crown and you win this card two points and if you can get a dominance token out on the first three rounds, that'll give you five. Then you're gonna to try to get as many out as you can on that round four, because that's gonna be probably what makes the game. So each round you can put out one, except for the last round you can get as much as you want. So that last round, you really need to jockey for position, get Kiwis where they need to be, so you can score a pile of dominance points. So yeah, not a high scoring game, it's tight, but every action you do, because there's only 12, is going to be, well, yeah, 12 is going to be super important and crucial. So let's talk about these minis. I don't I don't talk about minis a lot. I don't like minis, I don't care about minis. But these are pretty cool. They match the card. So I'm this is uh Scully. And I believe this is the mini for Scully. It looks like that skull that he has on his head. Um, and Chopin, I or Chopin, Chopin. I think this is the right one for him. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But either way, that's a cool mini and a cool card cool art and every, uh, the another cool thing about this game is every player has an asymmetric player ability with their leader so that's going to make you a little different than everybody else's plan on the board now this was a prototype so everything you saw is prototype components these are just stickers on some discs so they're coming off they don't look great uh, the cards are pretty good quality though for just being a prototype uh, and these tiles I'm sure are going to look a little better the minis are pretty solid so I wouldn't you know I think these are pretty good but again, prototype is probably all gonna change. You can check out the Kickstarter page or get all the updates if you wanna see what final production looks like. I'm not gonna talk about that as much because I don't really care. Because the game can look terrible to me and I can still like it anyway, so I don't really care. But if that's your jam, go check it out. So yeah, this is a, a really f a fun little game. Uh, area majority is not necessarily my jam. Being able to push people off of the map, which I didn't really show you, blowing up your opponent's birds, which I also didn't show you, super mean is not really, you know, that's a little too interactive for my liking, but it was still fun. I don't, I'm not against games like that. I would just rather play where people can't mess me over and I can't mess them over because I'm like Rado, I'm a little Care Bear. But if area majority and pushing people around, being mean, blowing up people's birds, pushing them off the board is your jam, then this is a game you should probably check out. It's easy to play, it's easy to teach, all the actions are pretty straightforward. The iconography is solid. Um, does not stay its welcome. You can play probably a four player game. I've only played two, two players a couple times. I haven't played three or four, but a two player game was like 30, 35 minutes. So I would say, you know, double it if you're playing four players. So an hour, hour and 10 minutes. I don't think that's unreasonable for this because, you know, you're only taking 12 turns 
everybody and a lot of it is just moving dudes around and while someone's finishing up their turn another player can start on their turn because it doesn't really matter so yeah i this is a good game uh if you want to check out more about it you can go to the kickstarter page uh, i'll put a link in the video description of where you can go see that and if you want to pick up a copy throw us some support so that is kiwi chowdown i'm jason with the board game mechanics and as always keep gaming